Steve. We had a top night Saturday night at uh, Victoria Warehouse where we had eight fights on with uh, John Murray headlining the bill against Henry James. Uh, but all eight fights were all cracking, cracking fights. Yeah, it turned out really well. It, it, it's funny how it happens, you know. Um, we started off that show with 14 fights, and for whatever reason, six of them pulled out. So, you know, you're planning on a long night, and 14 fights gets a bit tiring. So, when it comes down to eight, you think, oh, I hope um, it turns all out for the public. And, and it did do, you know, I don't think it was a bad fight. It, no, it was fights, yeah. No, I mean, and there's a few people that uh, stood out. I mean, we had uh, young McCall and McGowan coming back to uh, Victoria Warehouse, and uh, he, uh, he likes Victoria Warehouse because the last time he was here, he got a stoppage, and again, he got another stoppage here in the second round. Yeah, I mean, his opponent had been over before, and uh, to be honest with you, I don't know if it was McCall, he's Sean, or he, he had a bad night, but you know, he, he, he didn't look particularly great as opponent. But you know, you've got to give credit to, to McCall, he still went out and stopped him, yeah. So uh, he's back up, he's back on the next one down the 2nd of September. And then uh, another stoppage that we had on there was uh, Lee Oldham. Um, he he looked really good because he had a stoppage, his first stoppage last time out against Sam yeah. Wall, and yeah. uh, I can't pronounce his opponent's name, but. Uh, he, uh, he, yeah, it was he, a great body shot that finished him really beautiful. well. The round before, at the end of it, he, he had him uh, over with a straight right down the pipe, I think, probably uh, by another th three minutes. Really well, we yeah. call saved by the bell yeah. because yeah. I think if the bell hadn't come, the referee would have called that off then because yeah. his legs had well stiffened up. Yeah, so he's found a bit of power now, haven't he? Yeah, he's settled in, yeah. Um, then we had uh, young Luke Evans coming back after a little bit of an injury. Looking really good, putting over tough uh, head bar and Yeah, he, he done well because at 11 o'clock in the morning, he was fighting Matthew Ashfold and we got a phone call saying that he couldn't get a lift up. So we had to uh, ring around and get someone. And, and, you know, we can't thank e Barriers enough. You know, I mean, he's on a lot of our shows. He always turns up and fights and, and puts up a good performance. And, you know, to come and help save the show at 11 o'clock on the same day, He's fantastic, so he's come down outside the show and, and you know, uh, okay, didn't put him over in the first round, but he, he carried on the cuts of performance. I mean, uh, obviously, from Luke's point of view, mentally, uh, just changed trainers in with a new new trainer. He had a short camp, you know, uh, messed around a bit, he's had three or four opponents in the last seven days, but, you know, um, all good learning experience for him, and uh, he did a better job than he did last time, so, you know, it's good that... The, yeah, because he fought last time over yeah. six rounds, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. Um, ben Sheedy. Yeah. Ben Sheedy, ben. With, a, with his old coach's shot. The old yeah, yeah, I said up. that to him afterwards, that's the bingo left up, that one there, but yeah. uh, up to that point, it was a decent fight, you know, he's struggled early on with the... Uh, the South Pole movement, and um, you know, it was turned into a, a fight. But one, once he got on the ropes and, and kept his chin in the air and his hand down, uh, good night, left hook, you know, belting shot, yeah. Beautiful shot. Um, then we had uh, Charlie Schofield with local rival Curtis yeah, Gagano. Yeah, yeah, to be honest with you, Charlie needs to be stepping up from that level, but it just so happened that his opponent pulled out and we've been trying to make that fight for the last five or six fights for Charlie and it was there so so we, so we took it but oh, fair play to Curtis, he is a tough journeyman and, and he hung in there for the six rounds so but next fight Charlie's got to step up. Definitely. Um, then we had Mark Efron and uh, Mark being took the distance for the first time in I think just over three years. Right, I didn't know it was as long as that but uh, no, I watched that fight because um, He's an interesting character, Mark Efron. He sold a lot of tickets as well, so uh, I wanted to see what he was about. And, and it proves to me that he, he's not just a puncher, he can box a little bit. And, you know, what you've got to say is forget what Mark did. That Paul took some punishment and kept coming and coming here, his money. And, uh, he, he, you know, he obviously gave Mark some good experience with the rounds. And uh, he didn't just take the punch, but he had a little bit of a go as well. So it was a good fight for the, for the crowd and, and for Mark, yeah. I think it was nice, uh, uh, I spoke with him in uh, his uh, new trainer, Ricky Atten, and I think in the fourth round, because he damaged his hand at the end of the third round, so he took his foot off the pedal a little bit and, and decided to box a little bit, and the kid threw a, a combination of about five, six punches, and he just slipped them all with ease, and then, then punished him, and it was like, yeah. it was nice to see. 
That's what I was saying, his boxing skills are better than I'd give him credit for, but I haven't really watched him previously, you know, because he was not going to now, you just think, oh, he's got all the bums over there, so he's facing them, uh, we'll see what he's like later on, later on in his career, but he's shown there, I mean, a few times he turned south, but and he, you, know, yeah. you couldn't tell um, he was an orthodox fighter, he, he, he's a competent fighter, he's a lot better than I thought he was. Uh, who else we have on there? We had um, uh, John Telford making his comeback after uh, yeah, well, John losing Telford being Yeah, John suffered record. a loss last time. Um, so, uh, again, his opponent changed a couple of times and he had to go back to find somebody he thought. But it turned out to be a, a, a good opponent for him. He's getting back to the winning, winning record. It was always going to be a win. But after a loss, you've got to see what they like. And he, he's come back and uh, he, he looked a uh, hundred times better than he did last time. Yeah, yeah he's, he's, he let his hands go, which is the problem and why he didn't win last time out. And then uh, the fight we started talking about Joe Murray against Henry James. He's one tough lad, that Henry James, isn't he? Yeah, you know, and he's a good fighter. There's just something odd about him that makes it difficult with people with him. And I, I'm not, I couldn't really put my, my, my finger on exactly what it is, but, you know, he, he does funny twists and moves when he's coming out of positions, and uh, he's not easy to tag. I think Joe put him over with a, a, a lead up a couple once. Yeah. Um, but but that, so that, you know, each round was, was competitive. I know he's won clearly with a point took off uh, from Joe, but. Uh, he doesn't do it justice, he was a good fighter and do you know what, he'll do, do him a world of good because his next fight now, he, he's eliminated for the British title against uh, Matty Payton and uh, that won't be one way traffic, that would be a good fight, I'm looking forward to that. Well, every time you put two VIP fighters together it's been a cracking fight so I expect yeah. nothing less. Yeah, yeah. Right, top night and uh, I'll uh, come back and see you later on because we've got a couple of shows to talk about in next month haven't we? Well, we can do the 15th of July one now if you want because uh, it's just been confirmed that it's a, a Box Nation day and uh, thanks to, to Frank Warren there uh, putting Yuri Fury on. Oh, so um, we've got the heavyweight whose next fight will be for the world title. Uh, Nathan Gorman, who's um, Ricky Atten's uh, uh, Atten, heavyweight, saying heavyweight, who's looking the part as well. So obviously he'll be trying to follow on. The, the footpaths that the UE Fury has created. Mm -hmm. So um, they're the two that um, Fox Nation are providing. And then we've got the great card we had ourselves, which is Jack Armfield, Ryan Mulkai, and Ben Wager. Just going back to Jack Armfield, he was going to be fighting Chella Render and eliminating for the yeah. British. But last Wednesday he was put out as the mandatory for um, Langford. So obviously there's no point in, in, in doing that. So at the moment, you know, we've probably just do an international fight for, for Jack and then his next one will be on for the, for the British title. Mulcahy Wager for the Central Area title and then we've got um, Alex McCloy, Ben Swarbrick, Mickey Ellison, James Moorcroft, Ross Cookser, Mark Jeffers, Ryan Oliver, Anna Machai, Jack Cullen, Tom Farrell and Scott Fitzgerald's just been added as well so it's going to be a long night so the doors will be 5.30 for this one you know it's uh, going to be a long night. But this is going to be at Winter Gardens again is it? Blackpool Winter Gardens 15th of July. Standard ticket price 60 ringside, £35 normal so Spoiling. you can get your being bed B and B's bed and breakfast for fifteen quid in Blackpool, so there's no excuse for not coming down. Everyone should travel and watch it. Alright, nice to see you. Cheers, thank Thanks, you. Mate. Bye. Bye.